everyone, I'm Coach Megan. I was just practicing on the bars, doing giants and my free hip handstands, and I got one of my first rips in like years. You see it? Owie! I'm gonna show you what to do about this situation. What should you do when you get a rip? It is, however, a sign that you are a true, true gymnast. It's a good thing. I know it hurts, it'll hurt in the shower, but whatever. Congratulations, you made it to an official gymnast status. Hey again. So I finished up at the gym, I feel great. I did so many things. And now it's time for the aftermath of the rip. So here it is again. I washed my hands really, really good. Just wash it really good with a lot of soap and water. It's the best thing to get all the dirt out and everything. And you'll probably make a face like this. Oh. I did anyway. Um, it's okay, it'll toughen you up. So then after that, you wanna take some nail clippers. I just ran down to CVS so I could show you guys. Wow, they really make stuff hard to open nowadays, don't they? Jeez, everything is so complicated now. I take um, the clippers and I see that loose the skin because it's connected to your callus. So you don't want to rip your whole callus off if you can avoid that. See the, the hard, I know it's gross, but whatever, I love it. I think it's great. You know what's really disgusting when I was little? Ooh, I used to like chew on my calluses. That is the most disgusting thing. I cannot believe I did that. So anyways, you're gonna take just, ow! Gosh, Meg, don't be a little baby. You're gonna stick that little flap into the nail clipper and chomp, chomp. See, you just get rid of that dead skin. Go as as far down as you um, as you can. So I'm really gonna stick the clipper under there and chomp it. Then after that, I always have a nail file in my um, grip bag. So you wanna take the nail file, and you can do this all the time on your calluses. Woo! It's great, it's like going to the beauty parlor, but for your hands, I mean your rips. You wanna file those down, and then with the rip part, I'm just gonna go over it. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Actually, it doesn't really hurt that much. You wanna smooth that out as much as you can. Go like sideways, go always, because the more that's, owie, duh. You don't like stick your finger in there because it's not going to feel too good. The smoother you can get that, because if it's bulked out, then there's more of a chance it's going to rip the rest of the skin that's happened to me before. Because then it'll yank it all the way up here and you'll have like a monster sized situation. So yeah, really get that down. I'm going to meet my sister for lunch. Yay! Sister day! You know, I'm gonna take these clippers one more time. I think I can maybe get in there. You see, you put this thing, you gotta stick it under there. One, two, three. Ooh, it's like I'm a surgeon. Man, surgeons, I don't know how they do it. Can you imagine that? Wow, they really have to have steady hands. What happens if they have to sneeze? really stink. Okay. So I'm going to smooth this out one more time. I'm trying to show you. I'm by myself and I really need my husband. Couldn't make it today. So see I'm just kind of going back and forth like that way. Just with the end of it. And you want to get a um, filer that's nice and rough. Okay, so once that's filed pretty darn good there, that's what it looks like when it's nice and filed. 
You wanna go wash your hands again, because now you stuck this dirty file into your open area. Your battle wound from the bars. Then after that's all done, I prefer vitamin E oil. Um, I think it works. It's just my preference. I like it the best. So, wow, there's the wind. So, it's really good for your skin too. But it gets really, really sticky. It's kind of hard to get off. So you can do this throughout the day and then again before you go to bed. Ooh, this one's good because it's got a squirt thing. I like that better. And I just dab it on there. Pretend like I just washed my hands though. I'm in my car, so I don't really have a faucet in here. Do you like my car with full, filled with my mats? It's a circus in here. I even have a bar and a balance beam. Ooh, you can tell that feels really good. So if you're going to sleep and you want it to heal extra quick, this is what I used to do. So I can't find a normal sock right now, but this is what's in my bag. You can stick your sock over your hand and you can sleep with it. If Maybe if you have a really big sock. This one's more like, hey, I'm a puppet. <laughs> um, this would kind of bother me because it's kind of squishing my thumb. But if you can find something big that's not gonna bother you, um, hey, try that. Ooh, maybe a mitten. But if it's like really hot weather, I don't know how that's gonna work. Or maybe do it for a few hours because then it kind of really gets in there and like soaks it in. And then when I have to go back on the bars, and this is just what I used to do. You might want to do it a different way. Some people like, instead of vitamin E, they like preparation H. It's kind of for a different kind of problem. Adults get, um, but that works really good, or a little Neosporin. It's kind of like whatever floats your boat. And then, these are new Band-Aids. Look at Skin Flex. Designed to move like a second skin. Oh yeah. You can also get the new skin stuff. You put it on and it like creeps into your skin and acts as like exactly what it says, like a new layer of skin. You, a lot of gymnasts do that. It never was my thing, but hey, give it a whirl. So I'm just gonna take two of these super duper band-aids. They better be super for the price. Jeez. Could have bought a sandwich for that price. Wow, it looks like the white part is just big enough to get on there. So I'm gonna crisscross it. Make sure that pad is on the thing. And I'm gonna fold this part in the indent in my finger, you see that? Put it in the crack. It even says it lasts through hand washing. We'll see. I feel like they always say that, they never do. But if it does, that'd be great. My kind of Band-Aid. So now with the other one, I'm just gonna put it right in the center and I'm gonna make an X. So I'm gonna put this one through this crease and then like that. Ooh, wow, these band-aids are good. Oh my gosh. And you can do that during the day for if you're not on bars. But if you have to swing bars, which we had to a lot, our coach wouldn't really care if our hands were bloody and gross. Um, I guess it's the olden days. But once you have all this stuff on, eh, you kind of get used to it. It'll hurt at first, but once you start swinging, you kind of like become numb to the pain. It's not as bad as you would think. You can just make one loop around like this like that. And then you can do that same thing. Stick it in the crease like that and then bring it down here. You don't want to do it too tight because if it's too tight you're not going to be able to like grab the bar good. So you want it like a tiny bit loose and then same thing. The X in the same spot we did before. I know this is really sloppy. If your coach knows how to do a tape grip, 
and just have them do that for you. I was never really good at tape grips, so this is my homemade version. And you remember, you always want um, pre-wrap around so it doesn't rip in your hair, but I don't have any right now, so. So just so those stay in place, I'm just gonna wrap it around like that. Remember, not too tight. Because now it'll stay and it's covering the band-aid. And this used to work pretty good for me. I'd do something like this. Um, and then you put your grip, you know, your wristbands and your grip over it and see what happens. You may have to add a few more layers of tape. See how it works out for you. Alrighty. There's my um, Rip Home Remedy. You can keep doing that vitamin E oil on the sock, maybe just for like a couple nights, maybe three three nights if um, if it's like a really gnarly one. Thanks for joining me, everyone. I wish you luck on the bars, and I wish you not too many rips because they are kind of a pain in the behind. <laughs> and here's your end of the video trick. Remember to download my app if you want, because you can find all my videos really easily. And you can write me a message or post a picture. It's kind of cool, right? Sorry, I'm a wreck. Oh my gosh. Feels great though. Man, I love when it's hot in the gym. I feel like my body works so much better.